In this video, you'll learn how to categorize a multitude of UTM analytics and custom properties into metrics that are meaningful to you. Then, you'll learn how to give credit using standard single and multi-touch attribution models. Channels is a term used by marketers to describe where a user came from. A channel can really be anything, but commonly we might track a referring URL, or a standard marketing UTM attribute, such as UTM medium or UTM campaign. You could also use a custom metric as a channel. For example, you could define a property called campaign. These channels can then be categorized within Amplitude using the channel classifier. Later, you can use these categories to visualize your data. For this example, let's say I want to see how my paid versus non-paid channels are performing at a very high level. I'm here in Amplitude's channel classifier. I'll create a new channel. This will create a channel classification table. It is automatically populated based on the UTM information that is already being sent to Amplitude. Each column represents an event property that you're sending to Amplitude. The first column is UTM medium. The second is referring domain. I could add additional columns for any event or user property I'd like. Each row represents how the channel is being classified. Amplitude has automatically taken its best guess at how to classify the information coming in. So for example, if the UTM medium contains email, it will be categorized under email. You can think of each row as a logical OR statement. These are evaluated from top to bottom. So if a row is matched, then evaluation will stop. If you put a general catch-all in your first row, it would match and no rows below would be evaluated. For this reason, it is important that you put your more specific matches at the top and your more general catch-alls at the bottom. You can think of each column as having a logical AND between them. So for example, line 8 says that if UTM medium has a value, any value, and if referring domain also has a value, then it should be marked as other ads. Line 12 is a catch-all that will assign anything not previously categorized to direct. I'm interested in sorting things into whether they're paid or non-paid, so I'll need to make some changes. First, I'm just concerned about UTM source, so I'll change my first column to be UTM source. I'm also going to add a second column that excludes certain UTM source values. Now that I've set up my columns, I'll put values in each row. For row 1, I'll change the name from paid search to paid. I'll rename row 2 to non-paid. And I'll add the UTM source CPC, PPC, and paid search. And add Twitter, Bing, and LinkedIn. I want to exclude LinkedIn Learning from matching for this row. So if the first column matches LinkedIn, the second column will then be evaluated, and if it's LinkedIn Learning, then it will not be matched. For row 3, I'll add another paid row for Instagram, Google, and Facebook. I'll add another unpaid row for email, and another for direct. I'll consolidate partner, referral, and affiliate on the next line, also non-paid. And I'll add a final row as a catch-all for non-paid. Any, in all caps, simply means that the property contains any value. So currently, row 7 is impossible to match because both columns can't evaluate to true. I'll remove any from column 2, and now it's a catch-all for any UTM source. Finally, I'll give this channel classification a meaningful name. It's common for channels to change over time, so I can always come back here and update this classifier. Any objects like charts or cohorts that rely on it will automatically update. Now let's go see how this looks in a data table. I'll go ahead and choose my event, complete purchase. And now we can break out by UTM source, just like we could before. But we can also break this out by paid and non-paid by selecting our channel classifier. And then we can still break them out again by UTM source to get that granularity. Now, just as easily, we could classify our channels into other categories, depending on who is using those categories and how they want to understand their data. 
Some users may have interacted with a few different channels. How we give credit to a particular channel for that outcome is attribution. We can access various attribution models through the three dots in the header and choose Attribution. You'll see we can access the single touch attributions like first touch and last touch, but the multi-touch attribution models are grayed out. This is because we're measuring unique users, not event totals. In order to use the multi-touch models, you'll need to switch from uniques to event totals. I'll do that, and I see the multi-touch models are available to me. In this video, we've covered why and how to classify your channels, how to visualize that in a chart, and how to access Amplitude's attribution capabilities to correctly give credit to your channels. Now go try it out by setting up your own channel classification and see how your customers are accessing your product.